You know, you should really have that looked at. I am looking at it. I mean, by a doctor. Oh, nah, it's just a scratch or a laceration or something. Anyways, doctors cost money. Am I right? Search yourself. I'm not scared of doctor, if that's what you're thinking. Course not. and neither has Percy. Okay, okay. <clears throat> it was a night, just like tonight, and I was walking all alone up near the cradle. Where? The Shale Bridge Cradle. Used to be an orphanage till something terrible happened. Murderers got in or some big fire. Now who's telling this story, huh? So, I was out walking, minding my own business, when I heard something. A voice like a child weeping. And so I started up those steps. Don't tell me you went in there. Hush. I got as far as the door and put my hand on the knob and then... Yes? Yes? The child's voice, as clear as anything. I'll never forget. She says, No, go back. You can't help me. Run for your life. What did you do? What any sensible bloke would do. I run for my life, didn't I? I'm here telling you the story, ain't I? All I gotta say is, don't ever go near that place. Never. Now, who's buying the beer? Garrett. Didn't expect to see you. Haven't you heard? Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is
Oh boy! We saw that, you know. Hello? <gasps> oh! Oh, just you. in my own business, officer, sir. Yeah, no trouble here. <laughs> Wasn't there something here? <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Hey, Garrett. Hey, did you know... I'll just let you shop. What you up to today, Garrett? Never mind. Just ignore me if I get too nosy. Oh, well, what have we here? Someone's been up all night burgling, am I right? Don't answer. Ain't none of my business how you come by your merchandise, is it? I know what I've seen. Hardy won't fool me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 